Good afternoon. My name is Stephanie Marantet and I am the Vice Chair of the London Transit Commission. I am so excited to be here today for the launch of the new Route 38 with weekday service from Argyle Mall to Innovation Park. In an effort to get this new service up and running as quickly as possible, stop locations will be marked with temporary signage until the concrete pads and the permanent signage are installed in the fall. Now for anyone who's interested, we do have routes and schedule information available with us here today, but that information can also be found on the LTC website. As with any new route, the LTC administration will be closely monitoring on and off patterns, usage patterns, as well as of course any feedback we receive from our customers. The routes and times may be adjusted as we move forward with this new service in order to ensure that our riders, met, our riders needs are met. Expanding service levels to the city's industrial areas will continue on September 5th with the new Route 36A. This route will do weekday service from Franshaw College to Airport north of Oxford in the Robin Hill Road area between 6 a.m. and 7.30 p.m. I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank the employers in this area for their feedback during the planning process as well as their patience as we implement these new service improvements. The LTC staff have been working relentlessly in order to increase the LTC employee complement to the required levels to implement the long-awaited service improvements. Improvements will continue to be implemented throughout 2023, and I invite you to visit the LTC website as well as our social media pages for more important information and exciting updates. And with that, I'd like to turn it over to Mayor Morgan for some additional comments. Thank you. Great. Well, thank you very much, Stephanie. And I just want to recognize uh, members of the Transit Commission who made it out here today. I really appreciate uh, your support in bringing this route to fruition. Uh, you know, this is something that we've talked about as a council for some time, and we know that it takes uh, planning and some due diligence to bring a route like this to fruition. It's something that I talked about uh, as an important economic driver in my State of the City address uh, earlier this year. And so I'm so happy to be here today to see this route come to fruition. Uh, one of the first opportunities for that permanent stable transit service to industrialized areas. And when you look at the companies that it's able to serve, we're talking about 2,500 existing employees who now will have a new way to get to and from work. And when you look behind me, and literally we are on a construction site here today, uh, the job opportunities out here are growing each and every day. I know we have Bosco and Roxy's here who are expanding and building this wonderful facility before us, but we have multiple industrial partners adding jobs each and every day. I know the LEDC here is here today, and, and each and every uh, month it seems like we have a new announcement about an industrial expansion or a new industrial land purchase um, uh, to, uh, to just show an awesome example of that job creation and job growth. When I meet with employers in our industrial areas, they talk about the need to attract workforce. Workforce development is incredibly important for us to maintain that momentum of the economic uh, growth that we have as a city. Uh, when you talk to them about the barriers to attracting new employees, transit becomes one of them. To only have employment opportunities where you have to drive out to this space each and every day is not going to allow those employers to reach out to as wide a market as they possibly could to attract the employees that they need to get these jobs rolling and, and, and keep our economy going. So having in transit service like we have announced here today, uh, coming to this area is just one example of a way that we can broaden that opportunity for employment uh, and workforce development in this part of the city and provide these employers with the people that they need uh, to fill the jobs that they have. Uh, and we're so lucky to have jobs that we need to fill in this city. Um, so uh, with that, um, I just want to say again, you know, thank you so much uh, to the Transit Commissions for bringing this online. I hope this is the first of, of many new announcements of industrial service over the next couple of years. Uh, you know, this is the type of thing that we can get excited about. And as we see this continued growth in our industrial parks, uh, transit is a key component of making sure that that works for everybody in the city. With that, I want to, I want to invite the Deputy Mayor uh, to say a few words, if you'd like to add anything. As a, as a strong advocate of the, of the east end of the city, which we're out in today, uh, I'm sure he's got some, some things to share about, uh, about job creation in this part of the city. Deputy Mayor. Well, thank you, Mayor Morgan. Uh, I'll be brief. I, I'm really, really happy to be here today. 
the addition of this Route 38 uh, out to the Innovation Park employers, uh, the, the 36A that's coming on uh, in September from Fanshawe College. You know, my part of the city in particular, the East End, whether it's uh, in Ward 2 that I represent or Councillor Cuddy in Ward 3 or Councillor McAllister in Ward 1, uh, a lot of the people who want to have the opportunity to work at these places live in our wards. And the fact that they can now uh, have the option to get on a bus and get to work. And when you think about the people who want these jobs, whether it's somebody who is fresh out of college or university and looking for their first foray into the workforce, or whether it's somebody who's maybe been out of work for a little while uh, and is looking to get into a, a better job, a new job, these are not folks who have the option to get here by car. If you've been collecting EI for a little while, you can't afford to keep a car on the road. If you're fresh out of college or university and you've got student uh, debt to pay off, a car is not going to be the first thing that you can afford. So when we provide that opportunity for them to take these jobs uh, via transit, we're providing not just an opportunity for our employers like Bosco and Roxy's uh, to attract good talent, but we're actually providing quality of life for Londoners because we're opening up opportunities for them. Uh, we've been talking about this uh, since the day I arrived at City Hall, uh, a, a term and a half, or a term and a year ago now, uh, seems like a lot longer than that. Uh, but I'm so so happy that it's finally happening, and I'm going to do my very best. Uh, and I'm glad that we've got uh, members of the local media here because uh, we need your help to to promote this route, to let people know that it's available. Because we can't sustain the route without ridership. And I know Ms. Pleshny's here, and, and well, that would be her first comment, is we need riders if we're going to keep the routes going. So we want to take the opportunity to let everybody know that these routes are starting up, that there is an opportunity, and whether it's a, an employer who's already here, who maybe has some job openings, or an employer who will be opening soon, uh, be scouring those job opportunities, because we're opening that opportunity for you. Thank you, Mayor Morgan. Yeah, I'm Jamie Crook. My wife over here is Michelle. I want to welcome you to the new uh, Bosco and Roxy's production facility. We're pretty excited to get things rolling over here. We're hoping to start production next week uh, with a number of uh, workers around here. That doesn't uh, that doesn't look reasonable now, but seven days is a long time in construction. We're <laughs> we're optimistic, but uh, so you can imagine there's lots of balls in the air. And we came from a facility on Bessemer Road where. A what we were surprised is a good number of our employees, almost a third of our workforce, uses uh, London Transit to get to our location on Bessemer Road. Uh, White Oaks Mall is a great transit hub for them. And when we started talking about the move over to this uh, Discovery Drive address, a lot of them were saying, look, I'm going to have to quit. I don't have a way to get out there. And, uh, and so we really were hoping that the plans that I know that had been talked about for a very long time we're, uh, we're going to come to fruition, uh, and they did, and we're grateful for that. We've told our employees that, uh, that they're going to be able to catch a bus out to work and that they don't have to resign from our place, and uh, we're, we're happy because, you know, it takes a lot of effort to find employees, especially in this environment, and uh, it takes some time to train them, and uh, all of that is, is just working out, and I can move on to some other challenges that, of course, come with, uh, with this new facility. So we're, we're very excited. I've shared this news with my, my new neighbors around here, and I, I've spoken with them, and they're very excited. And I, I've uh, copied them on the new schedule, and, and they're happy to finally have that option for their employees that they haven't had for a long time. So um, it's, a, it, it's, a great, uh, it's a great development for Bosco and Roxy specifically, but in general, this whole, this whole neighborhood.